are working apparently on getting a slide deck which is awesome as a presenter because it means you get to hang out with the audience while those guys work. Are you guys having a good show so far? Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Before we get started while they're doing that A to B thing, can I ask you a huge favor? Well, I'm going to buy the microphone. Okay, so before we even get started, can we agree that this show is absolutely awesome? Okay. So what, I don't know that yet, I'm going to ask you to say this. So what you guys may or may not know, do you guys all know Shannon Underwood, the one that like runs the whole gym and coordinates all the Okay, so see, don't leave, oh, 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 oh. don't leave, okay. I was trying to be conspicuous and then she's about to walk out the door. Well, this is Shannon Underwood who actually puts on the whole show. Now, before, oh, oh, don't clap yet, don't clap yet. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you all to stand up. Shannon, can I have you come up to the front? Pretty please, she's all nervous. I'm her what's called the loose cannon speaker, which means she has no idea. What's happening? We're good? She should be nervous. I know, right? So you guys, this is Shannon, and I know you've had a great morning, you've had a night of dreaming and partying, and I see some of you that have woke up just like you woke up in those shirts. Uh, so to get this party started, I'm going to ask everybody to stand up, and we're going to scream at the top of our lungs, Shannon is awesome. And I'm not going to do that speaker lane thing where we do it twice and I say the first one is lane. We're just going to do it right the first time. Fish? Okay, so let's stand up. Come here, gorgeous. When you see me, I can talk about it. Hey, come here. you got to come in the spotlight. You know what this is called? This is called a speaker getting fired. <laughs> speaker fired. Remember this if you're a speaker. Okay, so on a count of three, we're going to go as screaming loud as we can. Shannon is awesome. Okay? You ready? And we're going to make her totally blush and get nervous. And make it really fired. If I'm going out, I'm going out big. Okay? So, one, two, three. Shannon!
get, let's get started. You all came here. Oh, I was going to try to do a whole joke that would have been bad. So, let me just first say, I want to give a special shout out to Drag from the ADJA, um, the American Disc Jockey Association. Um, they are a huge sponsor of the show. They're unbelievable. Drax over here in the corner. Raise your hand, Drax. He's got a microphone. He may jump in here. But I just want to say, um, much like real estate professionals, there are good realtors and bad realtors, correct? Hey, Chris, I've been yelling for you earlier and you were not here, so. It's my friend Chris, and we toured together in England. It was kind of cool. So, um, the ADGA is an association that allows those DJs that are truly professional in their business to step up and be part of the association. They do trainings, they do all kinds of really good stuff. So, rather than trying to hire some hack DJ off of Craigslist or Backspace or eBay, even, I'll let some of that sink in. Um, please make sure your DJs are all coming from the ADGA. And ADGA has a booth over in the exhibit hall. Stop by, talks to Drax. And if you want to do a selfie, I'm told there's a hashtag. What's the hashtag? The hashtag is ADJA Rocks Wedding NBA. Do you have your selfie? Instagram it with that hashtag. You can come by our booth and pick up, pick up your selfie. Cool. So you guys all got that right. I know you did. That's okay. You can talk to Drax and he'll tell you the hashtag afterwards. Um, let me ask this. Uh, by the way, I'm telling you ahead of time this is an energy drink. So I apologize. Sure it is, Case. So let me ask this. I told some of you that I was going to give away some vodka. Right? Yeah, I did. I am, in fact, going to give away some vodka. It's sitting right here. It's some Grey Goose Vegas vodka with two glasses. And in case you lost your balls or you misplaced them, I've got some balls for you. Golf balls. So here's how we're going to do this real quick before we get started. I know all the speakers come up and they say, who, how, who came the furthest? I want to know who came from the closest. And who's from Vegas in town? Okay, stand up. Did any of you walk here? <laughs> I just, we got to do this in like 30 seconds. Who came the, from the, how far away are you? Then you're three blocks down. Three blocks? Anybody closer than three blocks? You're closer than three blocks? Two blocks? One. One block? Anybody closer than one block? <laughs> Honey, if you live with a block at the convention center, come get your vodka. There's more than nobody with me. Come and get your vodka. I'll be at my booth right after if you want to share that. Sorry. <laughs> no, she is. She's like, okay, so we're going to talk about how we can sell more by not selling. Traditional sales are dead, you guys. Door-to-door -door sales of Britannica Encyclopedias, can we agree, it's pretty much not happening anymore, right? Yes? Or are you guys all doing door-to-door wedding professional sales? <laughs> that I want to see. Right? Whoa. There's a high likelihood I'm going to trip on you. Shan I just want to test Shannon's liability policy. That's all we're going to do over here. Okay, so look. So we know that it's dead. So today what I want to do is I want to go through some things that can help us sell more by not selling. Okay? So I want you all to think of a 15-year-old in your life right now. 15-year-old. Think of them. When you have a 15-year-old in your head, raise your hand. It can be your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your cousin. We can't go until everybody has one in your head. Hand, raise your hand. Great. Now it's time for me to scare you. You have 1,000 days until they run the world. She's like, yes! Think about this. In, in three years, they go from being a primary influencer to a primary buyer. They are your next bride and grooms. Right? We have to figure out how to communicate with this group now so that we can smoke our competition. Right? You do that test. Um, Oh, by the way, I don't care if you tweet, Facebook, text during this presentation, that's totally okay with me. Um, if it's a deal, get up, go outside, secure the deal, and come back and tell us about it. We're all entrepreneurs. So, um, we have to be able to communicate with these kids where they are. And new places and new ways to communicate are emerging all the time. We have to participate. Right? If there are very few people at this conference under 25. Think about this. There are as a group, and those are the people that are on the forefront. But as we get older, we keep thinking that our way and our traditional way of selling is the right way. The reality is we better figure out how to sell to these younger and younger kids because they, let's face it, are going to have the money. Right? Yep. Does that make sense? Okay. 
So I want you to think about this for a second. For every month you don't have contact with a client or prospect, you lose approximately 10% of your influence. I was going to try to photobomb it. Right? So you lose 10% of your influence, which means that stack of business cards on your desk right now wrapped in a rubber band, pretty much useless. Right? Some of you are like, what? How does he know that? Right? So here's the deal. The new way of selling is selling by not selling. It's by being better than your competition. It's by being more valuable to the marketplace than your competitors. The more value we add to the marketplace, the better off we're going to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so what I thought we would do is I have put this side up here just to scare you a little bit or to get some of you really excited. These are sales stats. And look, one of the things I told Shannon was I only have one slide that has more than 10 words on it, and this is it. This slide will be in the, on the end of the presentation, it'll be the last slide up as well. And I'll actually tell you how you can have that little thing, that sales thing, sent to your house if you want. Okay? I know, I know, you'll have it at the end, I promise, I promise. Okay, so right now you guys, they're passing out a form. Um, here's the deal. I'm not selling anything, so feel completely comfortable filling that out, filling that out. We're going to collect them at the end. Don't turn it over and write notes on the back unless you want to write a note specifically to me, right? Or to Shannon, I'll Xerox them and give them to Shannon if, if we need to. But, so here's what I'm going to do. I want you to stop making sales mistakes. And sales mistakes are anything that kills deals, right? How many of you absolutely just get knots in your stomach when you know you lose a deal? Raise them. Right? So let's just not lose a deal anymore. Let's just not lose deals anymore. We don't have to lose deals if we have so many deals coming to us that we get to pick our deals. Right? How awesome would that be? If we can get you to a position where you have so much business coming in and so many leads and opportunities coming in, that you get to cherry pick your deals. Right? And if you cherry pick your deals, then you get to pass off the deals to somebody else in the marketplace. Hey, Mark. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through as many. I have more than we can go through. What I wanted to do was give you guys stuff, things that you can do. My goal is that these are stars in your notebook. These are the circle like the, oh, finally, they're giving me stuff I can actually do. These aren't theoretically, they're not theory, they're all things that you can actually do. And the way I design these are 15, 15 minutes or less designed to increase your revenues by 20% or more, okay? So the goal for me by the end of the time together is that we have you circling and starring like, oh, I can do this. I may have woke up like this, but I can actually do this, right? So the first one, here we go, you ready? Now I'm gonna also say, I'm gonna go rapid fire and I'm very fast. So if I say something that doesn't make sense, you can raise your hand and stop me. That's totally okay. I'm already winded. I'm just getting my exercise. Um, I'm going to go through these as fast as I can. At the end, if you have questions, I'll answer them. No problem. I can answer them during it. No problem. Just know that you'll slow um, 837 other people down, but that's okay. If it makes sense and it helps clarify, I don't want you to leave here confused. Right? A lot of times what we speakers do is we'll open up a bunch of loops, and then we wait till the very end and we close the loops. Right? And then a confused mind says, no, I don't want you to be confused at all. Okay, Wendy? Okay, perfect. So, number one, here we go. You ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, first one is check your voicemail. Call your voicemail, and I want you to ask yourself, would I hire me? Think about this. If your voicemail goes something like this, hi, this is Bob. I'm so boring. You probably don't even want to listen to the rest of this message before you don't leave me your name and number and so I can't call you back because my life sucks and I'm <laughs> Right? Ask your, so here's the deal. Do you guys understand that television and movies, all we really, I come in the film and television business, okay? So the only thing we sell is attention span. That TV show that you watch is really crap. All it is is filler between commercials. All I want you to do is not, I want you to care so much about the story that you'll suffer through two and a half minutes of commercials and fast forward through them on a DVR, right? Your voicemail is the same thing, you guys. We give up that real estate. That's such an important 30 seconds of our time. If you said, hey, my name's Casey. Thank you so much for calling out, having an amazing time helping a bridegroom 
create the magical dream of their entire lifetime, give me a call back if you want to reach me at 100% go to www.connectwithkc.com. I might get back to you pick a time on my calendar. If not, there's only a 30% chance I'm going to call you back if you leave your name and voice mode because I'm crazy and I'm hyper and I'm out running around. So you can do it that way as well. Bam, out. Right? And you can tell people a tip. Right? I was listening to BB in here. How many were in BB session? She was awesome, right? Yeah. Take those, take those tips, right? She was talking about how you increase your language and make your language better. Take those take tips and give people tips. Give people a reason to call your voicemail. Right? Not just some lame thing where it's a throwaway, but call your voicemail and leave a message. Ask yourself, would you hire me? Does that make sense? You'll all do it? You'll all do it? Yes. This is participation. Please don't make me work that hard. According to that little iPad, we only have two hours and 28 minutes left together. Joking. Okay, next up, we heard about blogs yesterday. Let me give you the easy way to build a business around blogging, since most of you won't go out and create a blog, even though we know that that's what you need to do. Here's the deal. Go find three blogs that your customer reads. Who reads it? Customers, do I care what you read? No. no, I want where your customers are. Most of us want to go hang out with all our friends, and the reality is, I go hang out where our customers are, and then we smoke the competition. Is competition a good word in here, or a bad word? Good? Okay, I'm in the right place. Good. So, go find three blogs that your clients read, add value to those blog posts, leave comments, make the blogger feel special. How many of you in here have a blog? You all know when somebody's commenting on your blog, don't you? Like you're just Twitter painted with excitement when somebody actually comments on your blog. You be that person. Add value to them. Make the blogger look amazing because the reality is if the blogger's good, they're going to interview you because if they interview you, now that's press for them and it's press for you. So go every day, find three blogs, go find three blog posts, add value. Are you selling? No, you're adding value. Right? We've got to start marketing like Coolio. Be everywhere all the time. That's the only dude I know that can do a duet with Snoop Dogg and Taylor Swift. He's everywhere, always getting into different marketplaces. We've got to be everywhere all the time because the reality is that when somebody Googles us, which the brides are doing, yes? Yes? yes. I assure you, if you've never been to a bridesmaid's lunch, it's an experience. All those brides get together, they drink Chardonnay, hopefully it's not out of a box, and they all talk about the vendors. Right? The last thing you want is some bridesmaid saying, oh, well, let's go Google your photographer. And there's nothing up there. You lose the job. It's very scary. Make sense? Make sense? Okay. Next up, this is my favorite. This is where your stack of business cards comes into play. Take 10 of those cards a day, or you can print out your customer list on an Excel sheet. Doesn't matter to me how you do it, but here's what you do. You simply pick up your phone and text 10 of them a day. Hey, Tony, thanks for showing up today. I really, it was great seeing you. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate your business. Hey, I saw on Facebook that you were promoting an open house in your show. Can I promote it as well? You're not selling, you're just connecting. The more people that you connect with, the better off you're going to be. Does that make sense? Who do we want to market like? Coolio. Is Pitbull a better example for the younger crowd? Is that better? Is that better? Pitbull, same thing. Pitbull has made a career of singing choruses of other artists' songs. I don't even think he has a song, does he? He is on tour with people, he's everywhere. And all he does is sing something about my baby girl and call it a day. <laughs> That's what we have to be. We have to be inserted into the mindset of our customers at all times. Does that make sense? Okay, so text, text 10 people a day, just checking in, just saying how's it going, blah, blah, blah. And trust me, what will end up happening, what will end up happening is you're going to start getting these texts back. Why do I say text? Faster. Nobody calls, but it's easy. You can bang through. I'm from Los Angeles. Anybody else from L.A.? Oh, wow. Okay, so us, from, us kids from L.A., we are in traffic a lot. So don't text and drive. It's bad. Okay? However, we don't really drive very fast in L.A. because we can't. <laughs> right? But if, so I keep a stack of 
business cards in my car. That stack of business cards that are from networking events with people I'm never going to call follow up with anyways, I just roll through 10 of them a day. I just text. Their card goes to the bottom. Text, bottom. Now, out of 10, you're going to probably get five or six that text back. A couple are going to go, who is this? Sometimes they're going to say, stop. Some of them are going to say, who is this? What are you selling me? That's okay. This is about connecting and creating conversations. Does that make sense? Are we selling? No. Why are we selling? Who the hell is buying off of a text? It's got to be a rapport. You're absolutely right. We have to build a rapport with the marketplace. Is this something that you can do in 15 minutes? Let's start running numbers on this just to show you how freaky this is. If you do 10 a day times 5 days a week, that's 50, that's 200 a month. That's 2,400 people you can connect with in a year just at 10 a day, 5 days a week. If you were in connection with 10 people a day or 20, 2,400 people a year, would that dramatically change your business? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm down. Uh, am I funny or are you guys funny? <laughs> what would you say? Tell us a joke. <laughs> the new pitbull of El Paso. <laughs> Hashtag pitbull of El Paso. El Paso pitbull. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Somebody buy that domain quickly. <laughs> right? By the way, just as a side note, you want to make somebody's day amazing. This is a total side note. I'm tangenting. Shannon's out of here. I can manage it. Oh, she is. <laughs> no. So I got to tell you, here's the deal. You want to make somebody's day unbelievably awesome? Listen for something they say in a presentation, especially if it's a big client of yours, and then go buy a domain that you think would be cool, like on GoDaddy or whatever, pay eight bucks for the thing. And then write him an email and say, hey, you know what? I know that you were sitting in my seminar and you said, we were joking about being the Pitbull of El Paso. Well, I have to just go buy pitbullofelpaso.com. I'm happy to forward it over to you so you actually have a domain for that. How do you feel if somebody did that to you? Awesome. we got to make our customers and our clients and our network feel awesome. I should actually put that in the slide. It's, it's the easiest thing for $8. Would you guys buy a client for 8 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Duh! Or at least I would. Right? So if we do that, we've got to always be thinking of things that we can do to increase the value to our marketplace. Make sense? Is this like traditional sales? No. no it's totally different. Right? Okay. Next, anybody else have a question on the texting file? Okay. Next up, create a swipe file. Now, most people don't understand this, so let me explain. When you guys do social media and Facebook, let's talk about Facebook in particular. Facebook works on an algorithm, which is just a stupid algebraic equation, right? And it, see, it looks for how important the content you are providing is to your client base. The more engagement there is in that content, the more people Facebook will show your content to. Right? Because I'm sure some of you are just irritated as I'll get up that you work really hard to get a thousand likes on your Facebook page, and then you go in and you do this whole big long post that says, seen by two. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So let me give you the way to increase that. Okay? Remember, I'm going for notes. When they send out surveys, or if you're one of the secret shopper surveys in the room, this is what I want you to be able to do. Circle stuff and start and say, hey, that guy gave me some stuff I can actually use. Okay? That's what I'm going for. So here's the deal. The way it does that is it judges, you get a vote by, from Facebook. The best vote you can get is by share, the next is comment, the next is like. Okay? So your goal is to put content on your Facebook fan page that gets shared, then commented on, then liked on. So if you just try to sell, are you going to get a bunch of comments? No. No, other than like, out of here. Right? So here's what you do. You create a swipe file. I use Google folders because I'm, I'm all about like creating tools that we have. But you start posting stuff on your fan page. Quotes, puzzles, um, contests, things like that. And you'll start to get comments on it, right? So what you do is you share that stuff to your swipe file and you make a note how many times it was shared, how many times it was liked, how many times it was commented. The next time you post it, what you're going to do is go back to this file and look at all the things that have the most comments and you're going to repost it, okay? Now what I'm not saying is don't repost the same picture that's already inside Facebook. Repost it from your computer. 
Does that make sense? So it's almost like you're uploading a picture again. Now, I'll tell you a couple of quick sneaky things. One of the things that most of business owners do is when they see good content, they will share it from somebody else's Facebook page to their Facebook page. Congratulations, you are helping the other person's edge rank out and they love you. May I share with you how to have that be credited to you? Yeah. Right click, save photo as, save. Right click, save photo as, save. Take what's being talked about out there, save it to your own swipe file, and then repost it with your own comment on it. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Right click, save photo as, and then save it. Yes? What copyright issues? You're on social media, you're on Facebook, you have a hard time keeping control of your copyright anyways. You really do. I mean, people, the dog, uh, here's my rule. I would never post something on social media that you don't want shared around. But if you think you're a photographer and you're going to post this beautiful, gorgeous picture and nobody's going to share it, then there's no reason to post it. Watermark the picture with your logo on it. I'm just being real. I mean, I can give you the technical version or I can just have you start your notebook. I wouldn't be a photographer. <laughs> I would refer other photographers and take a referral fee every time I refer a photographer. And then I'd share all my photographer friends. That's just me. So for the attorneys that are about to sue me, <laughs> do not copyright infringe on anything. Yes, very quickly. Yeah, so you can do like puzzles like find yourself in four words or less. Now keep in mind that Facebook actually now can read words on the page. So it's no longer valid when you say, share if you love your daughter. Right? And everybody shares. That's how us marketers got a lot of engagement, right? On my fan page, I would go say, click like if you wear contacts. And I'd have hundreds of people click like. And then the reality had nothing to do with my fan page, but now my content gets seen by a lot more people because Facebook gave me a vote of like, oh, all these people are clicking yes. Then they go look at the question, they go, well, why do you care whether people are in contact? Because uh, I'm with the lens crafters. I mean, I don't know. Does that make sense? So share this stuff and then post it. Now I'll give you one last quick, one last quick thing on Facebook. Um, I will answer this afterwards because I'm going to say it fast. Those of you that run Facebook and understand Facebook will know exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't will ask me later and I will be happy to explain. Just come find me over at the trade show booth. Uh, my booth is right next to the ADGA booth, right, right inside on the left. Okay, so here's what you do. Post the content on your Facebook fan page. Log out of your fan page, log back in as your profile. Go up to the search bar, search for your fan page as if you are going to be a visitor to your own fan page. Go visit your fan page. Comment on your own post as your profile and then share that content from your fan page back to your profile. Now everybody that shares from your profile gets credited to your fan page and it unlocks a bunch of viewers. <laughs> Repeat it? Okay, I'm going to go fast. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Log into your fan page, post your content on your fan page, okay? Then log out of your fan page, log in as your profile. Go up to the search bar, search for your fan page as if you're visiting your fan page as you. You're going to be taken to your fan page. Now you can click, like, comment, or share on your own fan page's content, which unlocks viewers, and then share that content back to your personal profile. Oh, but Casey, I want to keep my personal profile and my business profile separate. Then get off social media, it doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can all try to tell me that, but it does not occur. Uh, yes, you, you're logging in and out of your profile because if you go in as your, as your fan page admin, you can't share stuff back to your profile. You might be able to if you're logged in from your profile and then just trust me. What you are trying to do is tell the Facebook algorithm that this content on a fan page was so important it got shared to a profile. Profile is more valuable than a fan page. Make sense? Yes. Can I move on? Yes. Okay. Pick up the telephone. Call
call one of your old clients. Now in this one, you've got to be prepared for everything because the reality is if we call clients, we don't know whether they had a great experience or a bad experience, right? I like to call clients that fired me. Why? I want to know why. Was it somebody answered the phone and said, y'all? <laughs> throwback to Mimi. Is Mimi in here? Oh, there she is. Right? Mimi had a great point in her presentation where if somebody's answering their phone saying, yeah, what? That's a hell of a lot different than how may I be of assistance to you? How may I support you? What can I do for you? Instead of saying no problem, say my pleasure. How can I help, right? I, I, like when I open the door for somebody, I get... Hello? <laughs> I had pink on yesterday today. I think it's great to match my pants. Just working on getting fired, kids. Working on getting fired. Okay, where was I? What was I talking my cloak. So when I open the door for somebody and somebody says thank you, instead of saying no problem, I say my pleasure. It wasn't a problem for me to open the door. Guys, let me just tell you, you know how much great business can be had just by being nice? Right? I don't know where, uh, is someone freaking out about the PowerPoint? I'm not, but I hope somebody is. Right? So here's the thing. When we call, when we call, are we trying to sell in this call? No. No. We want to know how we can improve. What can we do to make the situation better? What can we do to make the experience of the customer better? Right? And, and if you have employees, I promise you, you will glean huge insights by faking yourself out and calling your company like you're a customer. Right? I call our I call our hotline all the time. I go into our Facebook page as somebody else and I see how our team is interacting with people. Right? You get to know and if it's not how incongruency with your incongruency, I don't even know if that's a word. If it's not the same as you want it to be, you get to make the ch the choice to change it. Does that make sense? And I'm always the guy that fires bought twenty percent of my companies at all times all the time. Because I know that I want to be keep refreshing the company, refreshing the brand, getting better and better, right? So even like in our mastermind program, I run a, I run a mastermind program, I'm always bringing in and looking for those folks who are going to add way more value than they expect to get out of the, out of the mastermind. That way we're always increasing the value in there. Does that make sense? Increase the value in whatever you do. Now, other great thing about client calling is you, this is the best time for referrals if it makes sense. But I also know that reactivation for most of us is a problem. If, do you guys understand how much less expensive it is to reactivate a client than it is to go get a new one? But we hardly spend any time on that. We spend all our time trying to get new clients. Whereas if we just took the smaller group of clients and have them keep referring us business, it is way cheaper and way less hassle. Right? I love the word system. It's an acronym. Save yourself some time, energy, and money. Right? Save yourself some time, energy, and money. We good on that? Okay. Next up, this is one of my favorite ones. In your marketplace, support network marketers. Now, let me explain this one, right? I know that you can buy, break, and go to buy, break, and return, which is otherwise known as Bed, Bath, and Beyond. <laughs> and buy candles and all that stuff, right? <laughs> But if you bought it from an entrepreneur that sells candles from home, do you have a higher or a lesser likelihood that they're going to promote you to their network? Yeah. What? Higher. The reality is you going in and supporting Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever does nothing for your business. It helps them. Go help the small people, and the small entrepreneurs in your, in your community. And let me tell you, the best part about working the network with the network marketing is they get paid to have big ass networks. They get paid on that. So go be a part of that and let them promote you to those networks. It's massive. I don't buy a product or service from a store that I can buy from somebody that sells it from home. 
I don't do it. Everything from laundry detergent, eyeliner, everything. <laughs> so I'll let some of that sink in. <laughs> Referrals equal more reciprocity. You give businesses, I get more business from the Amway rep I buy my shampoo from than I do from my blog. <laughs> Is it worth, I gotta go buy shampoo, not a lot, but I gotta go still buy some. I just buy from somebody that sells it from home. Does that make sense? Do you guys see how there are so many things that you could be doing to just make ourselves better in the marketplace and be pitbull from El Paso? <laughs> dot com? <laughs> right? Okay? Referrals. This is one of the easiest ones to do. I was just on a phone with a client this morning at 8 o'clock explaining this entire concept. He or she who gives out the most referrals will win the game every single time. Because you become the guy or the girl, right? Oh, you got to call Karen. She knows everybody. You want to become the guy or the girl, right? Oh, you need a florist? Call Tiffany. You need a church? Call Tiffany. You need a fishing? Call Tiffany. You need a t-shirt, a screen printed t-shirt? Call Tiffany. If you guys can become everywhere at all times, even in perception, the reality is people start calling you for other things. Right? If I call the Carl House because I know that at the Carl House they are tied into every professional service in that entire location, if she sells me on the Carl House, does she win? Yes. But if I call and go, hey, BB, I don't know if you would know who, who's like a good mechanic. And she goes, oh, well, you know what? We had blah, 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 blah come in here, and he came to one of our marketing events. He's a great guy. Now what she does is she makes that connection, that referral. Does she win? Hell yes. Sorry, heck yes. I like to play in the group. Right? The reality is, the more referrals we give out, the more business we get. I just always want to be on one of these little go-go stands. <laughs> I told Mario ahead of time, I'm like, I apologize ahead of time, you're going to have to work. He's like, work? What? I got a photographer over here. Now let me ask this, you guys, how many speakers are in here of people that do presentations? A few of you? Oh my gosh, you guys should really be doing presentations only because I can talk one to many, right? And I understand the power of the permanency of asset creation. So I don't go anywhere without taking a crew with me to capture everything I do on video or on still photos so that I can then reuse that content later. The video that Bruce is taking or the pictures that George are taking, they will be forever. Forever. Hopefully I will stay this thin. I'm trying to lose 20 or 30, but it's not working. I joke that I'm still working on my before picture. <laughs> I'm not ready to start on the after picture yet. <laughs> Right? Are we having a good time so far? Okay. Some of you will get that later. Hashtag Pimple in El Paso. Okay. Next up. So we only have a few more minutes together. So I'm going to ask you guys to fill this out. I want to thank a couple of you before I go into my last few of these things. Right? This is Helen. Helen works with, um, with which she's part of our mastermind program. If you have destination weddings and you want people to go on an amazing honeymoon, um, talk to Helen. She does cruises all over all over the world, but she specializes primarily in New Zealand. She's got a little doll with her, Casey Kiwi. Get your picture taken, and yes, it was named after me. I think. If it was, I just tell people that anyways, because it's on camera. Right? George back here takes wedding photography. Where's my buddy Bruce? Bruce back here from Exposure Biz. Bruce is out of Los Angeles. He is part of our mastermind group as well. Bruce is an amazing guy. He pretty much does everything from Exposure Biz. Um, and so he does all the slide deck creation, the, the forms that you see in front of you, he did those. He runs around like a lunatic at events, capturing everything that I do on camera to help. He can do this for your business. So if, you, if you're into that, talk to Bruce. BB talked a little bit about a company called Send Out Cards. Send Out Cards is an amazing stay in touch tool. Um, Bruce also works with Send Out Cards as well. Please connect with them. These guys will all be in my booth. Where's Miranda? Miranda in the back. Miranda is an amazing person. She helped me. When I first got started as a speaker, helping launch my speaking career, she actually teaches people at how to do trade shows and do them effectively. So if you have a trade show booth and you're not making any money, you don't have any leads, you're going to want to talk to Miranda. Where's Janine? Janine's 
Janine in the room. Janine over here. Janine's an amazing person. You guys should check out the videos that she creates. She creates quick two, one to two minute videos, especially testimonial videos. It helps increase your reputation online. Because you understand that if you were, if, if, uh, if somebody writes a really crappy review on Yelp, not that I know that people do that, although I inspired you to do a talk called Yelp Sucks. So, um, here's the thing, if something's on page two of Google, it's dead. They don't see it. So what Janine and her organization does is help create videos of your testimonials to keep you fresh in front of Google. So you can talk to Janine. And Kathy, is Kathy in the room? I think she's down at the table setting up. Kathy works in an organization called Senti. If the places you go into where your office smells like crap, talk to her, she'll help make it smell amazing. Okay? Did I, get every, did I thank everybody? Did I miss anybody? Kendall over here helped, up, helped with AV. Mario helped with sound and cameras here. Okay. Was that worth it for me to do all those thank yous? Okay, here's the thing. So check this out. Can we, can we talk for a second? Who was that most beneficial for? To them. I just, those guys are all sitting right now in their head, even though they work with me and they're all part of our mastermind. They're all like, yeah, I knew we were going to do that. But the reality is it makes them feel awesome, right? 850 people get to hear their name. What's the most important sound of a person's name? Or their ears? I gave it away. <laughs> Hashtag learn your jokes. <laughs> right? Go see Janine. She's awesome. And she'll be in the booth after, she'll be in the booth afterwards. I think they're actually running a little, little special with the video. So, okay, this is one of my favorite ones. Then we have got like five slides left, and we got like two minutes and forty-four seconds. Okay, here we go. You ready? So here's, yeah. So here's the deal. I buy stuff from kids, right? I have a, I have a rule that if a kid is selling something, I'm buying. Why? Because they're the new entrepreneurs of our, of our space, of our space, right? So if any of you need wrapping paper. Cookie dough ice cream, magazine subscriptions, chocolate bars, I'm in. Girl Scout cookies, I'm in. So here's what I do. I subscribe to a ton of magazines that my clients are going to read. Then, while I'm watching So You Think You Can Dance, go Ricky, um, I take the razor blade, <laughs> this sounds bad, but it's not, um, and I cut up those magazines into the articles. And then I copy those, I staple those articles together, and then the same 10 people I'm texting, I simply send an article to that says, hey, I'm just thinking about you. And I put those in the mail. Think about how powerful it is if you get something in the mail that somebody just said, hey, just thinking about you. And here's the best part, it doesn't really matter what the article's about. Somebody's just so excited somebody actually thought about them because they're so irritated just being tagged in a Facebook post. Right? Does that make sense? Is this helpful? Anybody going to commit to doing this? Yeah. Okay, so 3% in a row. I really would like to at least have, like, have five of you say you'll do this. <laughs> Will some of you check your voicemail? Yes. Will you all commit to doing at least one of these things? Yes. Okay. You know, Sheesh. You guys are a hoot. Okay, Vivi talked about it a little bit. I happen to love send out cards. It's an amazing organization because it helps you reach out and touch somebody in kindness. Okay? So you can send nice speech cards, birthday cards. It's under a buck. If you have somebody in your local community that does send out cards, get a hold of them. <coughs> Just go ask them. They run specials all the time and they like to try this thing for free. I could not run a business without send out cards. It is the only tool that you could take. You could take everything away from me. Just leaving my send up cards account, and I'll rebuild anywhere in the world. It's that important to your business. Okay, so if you have somebody in your local community that does send up cards, contact them. If you don't, come to our booth and talk to talk to Bruce or somebody. We'll get you. We'll get you fired up and set up that. Cool. Okay. This is a sales staff card. Now, while I'm finishing up, because I only have a few seconds left, I do want you guys to fill those sheets out. Here's what I'm going to do. This card, if you take a picture of this or you just write down the domain salesstaffslide.com, I have paid send out cards to let you send this card to yourself. I've completely paid for it. It will cost you zero dollars and zero cents. How much? Zero. zero. So just go to salesstaffslide.com. That domain will take you to a Facebook post. Just click on the link, put your address in, and that card will show up at your house. You can write yourself an inspirational message, send it on your desk so you have a reminder of our time together. Does that make sense? 
Okay? And it's free. So there's, no, there's no cost. I'm not, and it's not going to be some big spam thing or anything. Okay? Is this helpful? Okay, you guys. And you're filling out these forms. The cool thing about these forms is this. I have a big network. I want to help you with your business. That's my goal. Okay? I'm a big lead gen guy. I run a mastermind. I have a lead gen program, 147 ways to generate leads for your business. I'm going to go talk at the speaker um, at the speaker table. I'll be set up down there. I'll come down and if you guys want to come hang out and chat, happy to do that. Every, they're going to collect your forms as you walk out the door. Um, I'm going to give each of you an hour strategy session. For me as a speaker, I want your business to benefit, not just because I want to sell you something. I want to talk to you about your business and see who in my network I can help put you in touch with. Does that make sense? Okay. So. We talked about how we can help. You guys, I want to just wrap up by saying this. I know you're going to go to lunch now. I so truly value your, um, your presence. What you do is you create dreams and experiences for people that last a lifetime that should never be taken lightly. You're such an integral, important part of people's lives. Take that with you. Go be better in your marketplace. Add tons of value. Have an amazing rest of the show, you guys. Had to go get somebody else an awesome day. They will be harassing you for your sheets on your way out. We'll call you and contact you for a strategy session.